as the weather warms up, it's time for some cool style. But compared to women's fashion, men's wear may appear to offer a lot less scope for personal expression. That really doesn't have to be the case, especially if you have Marcelino Vallahu offering some sharp-eyed advice. Michelle met up with him at a trendy Durban Outfitter to discover how to banish that last season look from the wardrobe. If you're curious to find out what the latest spring menswear trends are, then look no further as we have an expert in the house. Marcelino, it's so great to have you back on Mela. Thanks, Michelle. Great being here. Spring is in the air. Let's talk fashion. Oh, spring fashion, amazing season. So much can be done in terms of colour, texture, materials, fabric. In fact, let's take a look at different fabrics. Perfect. Cool. What is important to remember when choosing a fabric for spring? Well, for spring, you want something very light, very colourful. Here we have examples of Irish linen which is imported, of course. Uh, very light, luxurious fabrics. Lovely fabrics to work with in spring. Now this is so light. What's the difference between this and what I'm wearing? In fact, here's an example of a linen jacket. If you have a look at what you're wearing, there's a lining, which, is, which makes it very warm. Opposed to this, there's no lining, it's just the linen. Okay. So it's much more cooler, much more lighter, and very appropriate for spring. And bright. Beautiful. And bright, of course. <laughs> now, what are some of the important items that every man should have in his wardrobe for spring? I have a few looks for you guys and uh, just showing you how to pair different items together to make you look fashion fashionable for spring. Oh, awesome. So I'll take a seat while you put on a big on show. Oh, cool. <laughs> Let's get it done. Wow, what a look. As you can see, Nishal, what I've done here is I've just played on with different shades of blue. Um, I went to the dark blue trouser, a light blue double breast jacket, and broke it up with a bit of pink on my tie. Added the pocket square just for a touch of detail. Can I say 50 shades of blue? Yeah, true. But from 50 shades of blue to one shade of pink. That is such a bright and bold color. Definitely. As you can see, this is very self-explanatory. Full pink suit, two-piece. Broke it up with a brown tie to complement the shoes. Brown watch, a white pocket square to match the white shirt. There's such a misconception that men can't wear pink. I say real men wear pink. Uh, we shouldn't be afraid of color. I do understand if people don't wear a full pink suit like I've done here, but you can always wear a pink jacket with a dark denim or pink pants with a navy jacket. Just play around with the color. I noticed you're not wearing socks. Spring allows for us to show a bit of skin more playful and loafers are the in thing now. You need loafers. It's a must in every guy's wardrobe. Wow, such a look. And this, Michal, is our third look. Interesting that you're wearing black loafers with your outfit. Yes, I did. If you look at the shirt, the finer detail, there's black on the flowers. So I wanted to keep it within theme, and that's why I got the black, and it's also complement the watch. And I like the floral motif coming through on your shirt. Absolutely. As you can see, this is very springy. With your pink, um, your green complements my jacket, and the white pencils to break it up. The looks you've showcased has been an explosion of colors. What a way to welcome a new season. Marcelino, thank you so much. Michelle, we're not done yet. There's something in there for you. Please try it on. Wow, you look absolutely amazing. Such a statement piece. Absolutely. Thank you. Now that we all know what to look out for on our next shopping trip, thanks to Marcelino, I feel like a new man, and I've definitely got a spring in my state.